In this video, you're going to learn how to make social media graphics with Google Slides. What? Let's get started. Hey guys, Angie with AngieGensler.com here. And in this video, I want to walk you through how to make social media graphics using a completely free and surprisingly robust tool, and that's Google Slides. Now you probably think of Google Slides to create PowerPoint presentations, but you can actually use it for so many more pieces of your business, and one of them is to create custom images and graphics. Now you may be wondering, why not just use you know, a standard graphic design tool? One of the most popular cool tools out there is Canva.com, and you can create a free account with Canva, but that free account is really limited. And let me tell you, I've been using Canva for two years, and while I really liked it, and I still use it occasionally for some certain pieces, there are some functionalities that Canva does not have that I really, really need in my business. So first of all, they do not have the ability to add a drop shadow easily. Now you can kind of do your own workarounds and create your own kind of drop shadows, but there's not just like a click of a button that says add drop shadow. You also cannot make images transparent with the free version of Canva. You have to upgrade. The other downside of Canva is that there's no really good way to file and sort your images. And even though I paid for the longest time, I paid for the upgraded version of Canva, it was still a big pain to sort my images and then to search for them down the road. And so I would find myself wasting a ton of time trying to search for these images and search for these designs. On top of that, some of the capabilities did not exist in Canva, so then I would find myself jumping over to Google Slides to create it anyway. So I want to show you how to use Google Slides to create images. And let me show you. So this is an image that I created just the other day in about five minutes. Now, this may not be, you know, the most perfect, beautiful, incredible image, but it took me about five minutes and it's really easy to do. So let me show you how. So we're going to head over to Google Drive and you're going to click New, Google Slides, and you just want a blank presentation. And from there, then you need to size it appropriately because obviously, you know, it's gonna be in more of a PowerPoint format. So we're gonna go to File and then Page Setup. And from there, you wanna do Custom, and I'm gonna change it to Pixels. And so right now, the best size for Instagram is 1080 by 1080 pixels. We're going to, yep, there we go and see how it's automatically resized. I'm just gonna get rid of that stuff right there. So I just highlighted and deleted it, and we're gonna remove that. So now we have our blank slate, our blank template. So let me show you just, I'll walk you through how I created that image that I showed you just a minute ago. So you're gonna start with insert image, and I'm gonna pull this from my computer. And I found this image, ooh, now I can't remember where I found it, but it was from you know just a standard stock for photography site. So make sure that when you are using these images that you are using fully approved images. Don't jump onto Google and just find any image. Go onto a site either if you have a membership to a stock site or use a free stock site like pexels.com where you know that you are safe to use these images. Okay, so the one thing I want to show you is here's, you know, you can see your grid line, the space that you're working with, but your picture goes over. So an easy way to tell where your, your picture really starts and stops is to use these little grid lines. So you can see it's already in here to show me the midway point, but I want to see where this image stops and starts. So you can see as I click and I drag it over, it turns red. And then I'm going to do another one. So you're going to click and pull it over while you're holding your mouse. There we go. So now I can really see, I get a better feel of, you know, the image and where I'm, where this is at. So then I can pull this exactly where I want them. Okay, now we're going to add our text. And so you're gonna insert a text box and then I'm gonna start typing you never, oh, and that doesn't look anything like never. <laughs> there we go, you never. Now, the one thing I wanna point out is with Google Slides. So when I say you never regret being kind, the only downside 
with Google Slides is I cannot play with the spacing between the lines. Now you can in a little bit, right? So you can do one and a half double, but I can't make it less than single. And I'm gonna make this Montserrat extra bold. And I'm gonna go, let's go to 60. And you can see, well, I want that a little tighter. And unfortunately you can't go any tighter than that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make each line its own text box, right? Okay, so let's make this even bigger. Let's go up to 72 and I'm gonna make it white. And I want a little drop shadow on this sucker. So, and right here, these little three dots, you're gonna do format options and that pulls up the drop shadow. And you can just click it and make it quick and easy. That's usually what I do. Or you can do the drop down and you can really play with it and change the color, the transparency. Um, let me show this just so you can see. We're gonna make it less transparent. We're gonna change the angle, throw the distance out there. See, now you can really see how that plays with it. Um, increase the blur radius so you can see like how you can really play around with that um, and do some really cool drop shadows. Now again, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do Control Z to undo <laughs> a lot of these because I don't want all that. I just want like a really standard basic drop shadow, okay? So there we go, I've got that basic drop shadow. And then now that I have this, I'm just gonna copy and paste. So I did Control C and then Control V to paste. And then I'm gonna type in regret. And then I'm going to, again, copy, Control C, now Control V to paste. And then we're gonna throw in bean kind. Okay, now we're going to manipulate this. I want all this text centered, so I'm going to align it center. And then, of course, I wanna play with the sizing of the font and the spacing. And I would like regret to be about the same length. I would kinda of like them to all be about the same length. So let's take this up to 120 and see what that does. And then when I tighten these up, so I'm gonna click on it, and now I'm using my arrow keys on my keyboard to move it up. And then you can see here, you can kind of overlap it to really get a feel. And then I like how big the regret is, so I'm actually gonna change this size. Let's go up to 80. And you'll, you may have to just play around with it a little bit. 78, now obviously there's design tools out there that makes this a little bit easier, a little more sophisticated, you know? So that's the one thing you need to keep in mind. This is not the most sophisticated design tool out there, okay? It's Google Slides. <laughs> um, it's really not intended to be, you know, like a professional design tool, but you can use it and it's totally free. So that's why I'm sharing this with you because, you know, a lot of times as a small business owner, you just got to work with what you got and sometimes some of these tools are easier. So learning how to manipulate a lot of this stuff within Google Slides is going to be a heck of a lot easier than learning to manipulate a software like Photoshop, which requires a lot of training. You know, I, um, I've gone through extensive training in Photoshop and it's not an intuitively obvious software. You know, you have to do a lot of training in it. So, this is kind of a, a workaround solution to allow you to create these graphics quickly for your business without having to invest in a really expensive tool or having to learn all the nuances of a really expensive fancy tool. Okay, last thing we want to do is add the person's name who said this quote. And, oh, that's why. So we're gonna type it in. And you can see right now it just reverted right back to that black aerial text. And so that's why it's so small. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do Montserrat and I'm gonna do semi bold for her name. Let's try 30. We want that to be white. And I'll make it a little bit bigger, 36. And let's fix that. And I'm gonna add this. There we go. Okay, so you know, yeah, it's not, not the perfect, there's lots that I would do if I was actually gonna post this on social media. There's a lot I would do to enhance this image from there, but this is just a really good example, a quick tutorial to show you how you can create really great graphics just with Google Slides. Now, one final piece, when you are downloading this now to then upload it to your social media channel, 
you're just gonna do file, download as, make sure you do a PNG file. That's the type you want. Don't do a JPEG, it's going to be a lower quality, lower um, file size, lower resolution. You wanna do a PNG file, so download as that. Now, you can see that this did take a little time. It requires a little bit of creativity. So if you would like kind of a jump start where you're not having to create everything from scratch, I do have some social media image templates that are all designed in Google Slides. So I wanna show you a couple on how they work. These are the quotes that I have. And so there are 52 quotes in here total. And I actually have them designed with black text and with white text, depending on your branding and your kind of your design aesthetic. Now let me show you how you can customize these. Each one of these, this is a transparent PNG. So let me show you when I change the background on this. So I, when I click here, I'm gonna change it to one of my brand colors. And you can see it's, that's why it's transparent back here. So you can put anything you want behind this image. We could do that other, image from earlier, so let's pull that back in. And this one's not gonna look good on here because it's black text. And I'm gonna do control arrow down to put that image behind the text, or you could even right click on this and then um, we'll do order right there. And then it says, you know, you would do send backward. Let's bring it to the front so I can show you again. So right click order uh, send to back. So it's going to bring that behind the text, but there's keyboard shortcuts. So when you see me doing that, um, you'll know I'm using those keyboard shortcuts. So since this, you know, it doesn't look good with that black text, let's take this image. I'm going to copy that image and we're going to throw it over here into the one with the white text. And again, I'm doing control arrow down to put it behind there and see how that pops so much better. And now, you know, I have this, and eh, let's pull this over a little bit. Now that I have this, I wanna also throw in my logo to customize this for my brand. So you're gonna do insert image, and you're gonna bring in your logo, and I'm gonna bring that down quite a bit, and I'm gonna drop it here in the center, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more, there we go. So now I have a fully customized branded image that I can throw onto my Instagram. I can do download as, PNG, and it's ready to go. So you can see how it's so much quicker to create these social media graphics when you have a template to work with. So if you're interested in those templates, there's 150 images total. So you'll get a, a 52 of the quotes in the white text, 52 in the black text, you'll get 46 holidays, and then 52 questions. Now questions are a really great way to increase engagement on social media. So you will receive all those templates and to grab those, I'll put a link down below or you can head over to angiegensler.com slash images and you can learn more about how they work and what you're gonna get with the templates and then you can grab your copy. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please comment down below and let me know and like the video. That really means a lot. And it helps let YouTube know to show the video to other entrepreneurs just like you so I can reach and help more people. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified every time I publish a new video to help you grow your business using social media and digital marketing. Well, that's it for today. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.